Hi there, this is a pick a card reading for Will They Offer Commitment? So we have these two beautiful groups on both sides. We have group number one, which is the Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot deck. And then we have group number two, which is the Tripping Weight deck. And then in the middle, we have these hands offering out the golden element of commitment. So that's what we see also in the cards as well. So whichever group you're most drawn to is going to be the reading for you, whether it is group number one or it is group number two, that is really up to you, that rhymed. It's like, <laughs> it's like very bad poetry. But anyways, oh, maybe it's good poetry. So whichever one again, um, sort of really draws you in is, the, is your reading. And then what you can do is you can go to the timestamps, um, which are in the description box of my video. And then you can click on those timestamps, they'll take you to your reading so that you can watch the reading. And uh, I also want to mention as well, if you'd like to win a free reading with me, please do check out the description box below since I do a giveaway every single month. If you would like to purchase a private paid reading, information is in the description box below. So they're done within 24 to 48 hours. Last thing I want to mention is that my intention bracelets are, are on Etsy as well. So this here is the moon energy bracelet that I'm wearing. I also have um, different bracelets for commitment, love, twin flame, soulmate, um, evil eye protection, all that good stuff. There's so many on there. I think there's over 100 varieties of bracelets now, which is absolutely crazy and amazing all at the same time. I'm just making sure my microphone is definitely turned on, which it is. And um, I also have a Patreon as well. If you'd like to check out exclusive content that I don't post anywhere else, do head over to my Patreon. So let's begin with this reading. The sun is shining through the very dull grey clouds and I think we're ready. We are ready. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start with group number one. We are going to move the prop out of the way um, so it doesn't sort of get in the way um, or anything like that. So I'm just going to move group number two to the side. I'm going to move this beautiful prop to the side as well and we're going to start with the first group. All right, so group number one, let's have a look and see, will they offer commitment? That's the big question on the cards. Let's have a look. Let's see what messages I can give you. So we're gonna do a 12 card spread. It's gonna be very in depth for a 12 card spread. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Wow, okay, the cards are coming out very, very fast. I have a feeling we might have all of the cards here. So, okay, all right. So we definitely, oh wow. We've got the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. And obviously the question here is, will they offer commitment? So up until this point, they haven't offered commitment is what I'm assuming that, and that's sort of what the reading is about. So you haven't got commitment up until this point. You're wondering if this person's gonna offer commitment or something much more stable. Okay, now what I can see is this person's reflecting quite a lot. With that being said, the sevens in tarot are about deep reflections, right? Really thinking. And that's that element coming through here. Now we have got the 10 of pentacles, which to me definitely showcases that I feel this person will offer you commitment. We have started out this reading by seeing a lot of pentacles. Pentacles often do also showcase the element of time and time is not fun. Let's be honest, it's not fun to wait around or stay around while someone else is making decisions and choices and things like that. It's just not fun. It's not what we like. It's not what we really want. Um, it sucks. It really does. Just to put it in plain words, it sucks. It's not fun. But that's what I'm seeing with this Ten of Pentacles. It's not cute, right? It's not cute to feel like things are going to take time. But I feel like things are going to take time, right? In the end, I do see this person offering commitment. So the answer to your question is a yes. But there are lots of other factors that we're going to look at in this particular spread, which showcases perhaps why this person's taking time and, you know, a lot of what they're reflecting upon. So that's what we're also going to look at here. Look at that Six of ones. Ta-da! Ta-da! Okay. The main card is here. The main card is there. 
this shows a pretty strong yes to the question that they are going to offer you some form of commitment, some form of stability, they want to make things work, they want to make things gel with you. That's something we are seeing, right? The Ace of Pentacles is also about stability, but it also is about that element of time. I am so sorry, I know I have to say that. I do feel like things are gonna take time to come together, but that's also, like sometimes that can be a blessing. Sometimes when people would just rush into things, they don't reflect or consider it too much, it can break things down eventually. But also, when someone's really thought about things and they really think about it, they take their time over things, it can also be a blessing. I know it can be frustrating, it can feel like a curse instead, but actually it can be a secret blessing from the divine, where the divine is actually saying, I think it's pretty good that they took their time thinking about things rather than rushing things, because it also proves that, you know, it's something they've really considered, thought about, and they're 100% sure of at that very point. Okay, they haven't just blindly rushed into things. So I do feel that this person will offer you commitment, but they also really need that time, that space, um, and that element to reflect on things a lot more, so that they're much more clear and sure in their own mind, in their own headspace, so that they feel comfortable, they feel confident, they feel ready, they feel able. Okay, sevens, as I mentioned, it's it's really about them also over analysing, trying to make sure that they know, you know, if this happens and they can handle it, if that happens and they can handle it, if this happens, will they run away? You know, they, they have to consider all of these elements and that's what this person's doing. The seven of cups also shows a lot of signs and synchronicities. If you find that you're seeing repeating numbers, what I would do is keep a little notebook or even, you know, if you have a you know, a phone um, or, you know, a computer or somewhere where you log things. Obviously, it's going to be different for everyone because this is a general reading, right? So everyone sort of logs things differently. Some people just like to remember things. Um, definitely make a note of the repeating numbers that you see. For example, it could be 1111 or it could literally just be 22 or 33, 4455, 14, 14, um, you know, 66, you know, repeating numbers of that sort. Make a note of them. Do a Google search write down next to the number what it means and then every time you see repeating numbers what you can do is you can write them down and then you can try and connect the dots as to what it's subconsciously trying to tell you what the angels are trying to tell you with those repeating numbers you may be able to find different correlations between those numbers and also when it happens because i feel like the other person is also seeing a lot of repeating numbers signs synchronicities they could be walking down the street you know and they suddenly get this flash of your face in their mind and you know really so that's what I'm seeing it really just takes them by surprise and that's again something that's um, coming through very strong is that they could also be daydreaming uh, definitely getting dreams at night but then you might as well so there's a lot of signs and synchronicities here and again this person's really thinking about all those aspects because I feel that that's leading them closer to you because they're thinking oh my gosh you know there's something really strong here can't you know, not know what's going on here, because that's strong on a very spiritual level. So they're trying to work everything out. The Seven of Pentacles shows they're really reflecting upon everything in the situation, trust me, more than you could imagine. And they're trying to think about how they can progress things, what's going on, what's happening, and essentially what to do about it, because it's, it's a pretty strong message. Not gonna lie. That's huge huge and then you know going from those signs and synchronicities and their dreams to then them doing their day-to-day -day activities of course you know they will be taken back it's a little bit like how we can be dreaming things at night and then that dream might just negatively or positively impact us for the rest of the morning or the day or the night depending on when you've had that dream you know, it, it can make us feel certain things and it can just take us off guard for actual things we're doing during the day. That's what I'm also seeing here, is that their dreams make them reflect a lot on on what they've seen. And in many ways that can sort of impact them. So if they have something that they need to be doing, um, perhaps, you know, career-wise, or they just got, you know, things going on through, throughout the day, they might actually stop and think about what they've seen in their dreams, which I think is very interesting. So in a way that's distracting them. Um, so you, I don't know if you'll be glad to know that, Trust me, they think about you a lot more than you realise. That's, that's, that's all I want to say. 
So you've got the Ten of Pentacles, that's the ultimate level of commitment. We will get onto these cards, I promise we will. Um, in fact, let's just do this. Oh, we've got perfect amount of cards. That's, that's pretty spectacular. I didn't actually um, count them, but that's really cool. Okay, I'll just put the deck on the side in that case. So, you know, I think that this is really special. Very, very special indeed. And the thing is, right, with with commitment it can be very challenging and it can be um you know this element of needing to be sure so their dreams and them overthinking is leading them to this it's leading them to want to initiate things with you more because we've got the archways and tarot you've also got this um very strong element of two with union and then you've got this house and you've got this family environment so again they want to be ready they want to be sure before they take any moves so when they come to you just know that this person is ready they have reflected upon things they want things to progress they want things to move forward they're not just rushing things so that's very very important for you i think to to just note that when this person comes to you trust me they have considered everything so i feel like some of you may think but are they really ready you know, are they, are they sure? You know, they took a really long time. Could they, are they actually sure? Trust me, I feel that this person is very, very sure just because they've taken that amount of time, but they just, they haven't just taken that amount of time for nothing. You know, there are some people out there that will just use time to prolong it and to just have and buy more time and just do whatever. This person's bought time but has actually really used it. And I feel like the guides, the universe has projected a lot of this spiritual connection that the two of you have onto them as well so that they feel stronger towards it and they move towards it as well. There's multiple energies really coming through. So the Ace of Pentacles shows again with these archways that we see that they're going to initiate things with you. So until then, what you can do is just be yourself. Give this person as much as they give you. All right, um, that's the most important thing. Now, for some of you, you may not actually have contact with this particular person, all right? In which case, again, let them come to you. Let them pursue you. See, the Six of Wands is about letting this person come to you. If you're in a situation with this person, right, um, and you have communication, com you know, continue to give as much as they give you, but try not to overgive. That's the thing. The minute we sort of try and overgive to a situation, we are just, you know, we're doing too much. So I think that's very, very important to consider. Try not to do too much in a situation because that can just be, well, it's quite self-explanatory. It can be too much. <laughs> you guys are probably like, wow, Moonlight, you're so descriptive here. But yeah, you know, it's important to let this person come to you. That's what I'm seeing. And plus, when they come to you, you'll know that, okay, you know, they came to me in a good way. So this means that, you know, they, they feel good, about things. So let them come to you, that way you know their actions, that way you know how they feel. Actions speak louder than words. Always remember that. Words are good, we like words, but also actions are very important as well because that will show you where you stand with the person, that will show you how much they're willing to put in a situation and that will also um, show you what they feel, you know, and, and I think that that's also very important as well. So let them come to you. Six of Wands here is about victory, celebration and success. So again, I see things moving forward. And I do see this person coming towards you to have commitment with you and then to celebrate it with people around you. So I think that's very important. I am seeing a party, a celebration um, in that sense as well. Yes, yes, they will commit. They're going to offer you that commitment and oh boy, do we like that. Look at that, we've got the Nine of Cups. Beautiful card because it shows a wish, right? Many of you have the wish to have commitment with this particular person um, and you're wondering whether it's going to happen. The Nine of Cups shows that this person really does have some very solid feelings and thoughts in regards to the entire situation with you. I feel like this person does think about you a lot as we've already discovered, but their feelings for you are just getting stronger and stronger as time goes by, which is also just an extremely strong situation. I mean, you know, that's that's really about them coming to you, offering commitment and actually being quite, you know, sure about things. They're like, yeah, I am sure. Now, you know, sometimes the crossed arms can be a mode of sort of um, 
defensiveness sometimes you know when you see people that have their arms crossed they're just you know a little bit more sort of uh, defensive sometimes but actually having your arms crossed as well can be a sign of comfort at times you know comforting yourself um in, in public places as well you know if people are in big groups you know people can cross their arms and just be like oh you know I don't want to say anything I don't want to speak um this is actually about you know sort of being quite comfortable and sort of guarding yourself and giving comfort to yourself like hugging yourself um so the thing is you know that body language is coming through here that they actually feel quite comfortable with the feelings that they feel towards you and um right now they're holding a lot of that in right they're not perhaps wanting to share that but eventually they will share it so again that body language is really resembling what I'm seeing in my vision as to how they feel about you where they do have these feelings towards you even now of wanting to give you commitment and wanting to give you more but sort of keeping it more to themselves and then eventually they will reflect that to you so basically they'll express it to you should I say and they will quite honestly move forward and express it yeah we like that right we like it when there's that mode of expression which i think obviously is very very important in any situation um because it just is right it's just really important to to know what someone else is feeling so again that shows a yes now let's move on to the next card oh boy oh boy oh my goodness or, oh girl, oh girl. <laughs> so, lovers. Okay, so again, very, very strong situation in general. Now, we know that the answer to this question is a yes. Oops, 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 oops. <laughs> But we also know that there's there's um, a lot of other information that's come through so far in this reading. And what I would say is lovers here is really pointing towards something extremely strong, which is the element of counterparts. Not only do I see this going to commitment, but I, I see this going higher than just commitment in the sense of exclusive sensitivity exclusivity there we go um and also in terms of long term actually being together settling together building something really strong together that's what i'm seeing this person just needs a bit of time to get themselves together and then i'm really really seeing things move to a point where the two of you build together but again let this person come to you that's just the most important thing i'm seeing here is let this person come to you let them express things to you let them move things um forward with you that's honestly like the best thing that you I feel that you can do is letting them come to you rather than just going to them you know that's that's just what I'm seeing um so yeah that's the best thing that you can do now the lovers here also shows more growth so we've already sort of seen that in the reading where I do feel like there's more growth there's more potential there's more movement um, and of course this is not just about you know commute um, commitment should I say in the terms of you know let's just exclusively be together this is more so this is also an engagement marriage proposal later on down the line it's also showcasing with these beautiful um, trees with the fruits and the flowers and the leaves and the sun and the hill and the grass that there's just so much more to come there's so much more in this situation which I think you have the right to be excited about but I always say remember to focus on the present time to focus on the here and the now right to feel strong and confident within yourself rather than worrying too much about tomorrow um let's let's um think about today you know and think about okay this is a really lovely message that's wonderful you know absorb the message but then also do take care of yourself in the present moment and the present time um, that's very very important you have also got an angel here and I very very much so do believe that this is a spiritual connection again something I said at the very beginning there's a spiritual connection between you and this person there are certain lessons that this person has had to learn to really get to the point where they feel strong and confident to be able to take things further forward and they have very much so had to do a lot of reflecting to get to that place for some people they can move very quickly and they can just you know effortlessly move in the direction that they want to but this person has had to really consider a lot of things and um sort of act accordingly is what I'm seeing which you know is not necessarily a bad thing it's better that they do this than just move really quickly and then realize oops I can't handle this um, anymore and, and this is just way too bad 
Um, so that's what I'm seeing. I mean, for some of you, it could be that maybe that's what happened before. It just moved really quickly and then it, things just got really shut down. Um, and for some of you, you know, that hasn't happened is what I'm seeing, but it really does depend. Every Everyone sort of has a, a little bit of a different situation. No two connections are ever 100% the same, but that's what I'm seeing here as well. Um, so there's a, a spiritual connection. It could be a soulmate connection. It could be a past life connection or it could be a twin flame connection so that's just what I'm seeing here Gemini is uh, so Gemini is the ruler of this card Gemini is about the twins so I honestly wouldn't be surprised if there is that very strong element of the twin flame connection coming through here but still it could also be a soulmate connection or a past life connection just saying just saying there's a lot more to this than just will they offer commitment. There's so much more than that. King of Wands. There's so much more. See, Chariot is about there being way more in a situation. Um, than anything else. Also, right, Chariot is known to be yin and yang, so you know those two sphinx that we have at the bottom there, again a very spiritual element because it's yin and yang, yin and yang is all about mutual harmony and balance and togetherness, it's, a, it's again very spiritual nature and it reminds me of sort of two people that just are so compatible, complement one another, have you know different qualities and characteristics but still have a very sort of similar vision and outlook into life and just it works so harmoniously and again that's the sort of energy that I'm really picking up on is I feel that this is a blessing in many ways um it's it's just going to bring you closer to something that you really want in life it's kind of making me a bit emotional I'm not gonna lie because right from the beginning your answer was a yes and it's just showcasing how strong I'm seeing things in this particular um, reading you know it's it's so strong it's it's so powerful it's it's absolutely beautiful and also right the king of wands is this really beautiful fiery energy it shows that they have a lot of attraction towards you but that's not the only reason that they want to be with you I'm not gonna lie when I do reading sometimes you know, it does show that sometimes people want to be with certain people for very shallow reasons. And that is really sad, you know, whether it's for their looks or how they, you know, are physically. That's not all there is to life. And I do feel very much so that this person, um, you know, doesn't um, want you specifically just for that. This person also... Um, likes you because you know this chariot energy here is pointing towards an emotional bond an emotional connection and that's the big thing that i'm seeing in this particular spread is that they like you for your inner self and not just and not just the um exterior part of things that's really what i'm seeing here as well and that's nice that that's really nice Anyways, also this King of Wands shows adventure as well. Um, this person seems to be quite adventurous. Uh, that's just how it comes through. And I do feel that they will offer you, will want to offer you um, commitment, but they will also want to do quite a lot of um, sort of exploring, going out, having fun, that kind of thing with you. So that is just something I am picking up on quite strongly in this reading. And that's what we're seeing. But I am seeing a lot of progression and movement forward, which we have seen already in the cards. So that's Technically, it's not really a surprise, but it is what's coming through in this reading. So that's really what we've got there. And um, it's pretty special. It's pretty spectacular. And I see things really aligning and coming together as well. We've also got the sun in the lover's card. And that shows a lot of positivity, a lot of warmth, joy, growth in this connection and things progressing. Because really, there can be no growth without the sun, right? We would not be able to grow without the sun because it would be minus... God knows how many billions of degrees <laughs> on earth so we would not even be able to survive in any way shape or form neither would trees and leaves and fruits and flowers they just wouldn't so the sun is 
you know, so exceptionally important to say the least. I feel like that's an understatement. And again, it's showing that, you know, that's also helping to boost this connection a lot, which I think is very important. The sun is really shining through in the reading as well, which I think is obviously really lovely. So let's continue on. We've got the two of pentacles. Da -da 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 -da. Right? Now this card is really important. So the two of pentacles here is about juggling and balancing things. Okay, so this person here is really trying to reflect upon um, their dreams. Now this also does show that they may try and analyze their dreams and certain things they're seeing in their dreams in regards to you. So again, this person is trying to balance out multiple things happening in their life, okay? At the same time, they're trying to balance out what's happening in this whole situation and the connection. They're, they're trying to balance and juggle a lot of things right now. They've got a lot going on. And then these rocky waves that we see in the background are their emotions from the past and things that they've had to learn from in the past, which I feel they will truly put in the past, if that makes any sense. And they will really learn from those things to be able to take forward into the future, which will allow them to build something really beautiful and long-term for the future so that's what we're seeing with the two of pentacles it is a beautiful energy um, it really is an energy about a good movement good growth and balance so I feel like that's good <laughs> to say the least I do think it's a good thing I think that it is a blessing in many ways we may not feel like it's a blessing but it is a blessing nonetheless and I think that it's also quite important as well in that sense that this person is becoming much more balanced to the to the point where they can handle commitment and they can you know take it further so they're getting there that's what I'm seeing and the two of pentacles is showing the fact that they're getting there and of course we've got the ace as well so technically it would go ace to the two but what I am seeing is that in general, that shows growth and progression, that they can handle things much better, especially in regards to handling a, a relationship, which can be really difficult for certain people. Um, it can be, I mean, let's be honest, right? Relationships are difficult. Uh, it definitely takes a lot of work. Uh, it definitely takes a lot of compromise. And this person is getting to the point where they can put in not only the work, but also they can put in the compromise, which by the way, I just think that that's really positive if they can do that and they can put that in. It just shows uh, the amount of growth that they're going through and also um, how they feel and the things that they're doing, which let's be very real. That's positive. That is positive. We like seeing that and that's good. <laughs> so that's what we have right there. Now let's have a look at these two cards here. So we have the Eight of Wands and we've got the... Knight of Swords. Look at this entire spread and tell me what you think the answer to this question is. I mean, we already know what the answer to this question is. We knew it as soon as I saw that Ten of Pentacles, I knew. But the thing is, it just goes to show you how much these messages all really sort of connect with one another. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. It all just matches, you know, from one to the next. So this here is really showcasing something very, very important. And the important importance, should I say, of this is that the Eight of Wands here shows a lot of movement, progression, and growth in the direction of uh, positivity and things going in a really wonderful and great way. We've also got the Knight of Swords, which shows a great deal of positivity and again things going in the right direction we have got right we have got <laughs> this beautiful beautiful energy which i really like as well like let's just be honest of more communication and being much more open honest and clear with one another that's what we have here with the knight of swords so if there's one thing you need to know is that i feel like this person is going to become much more clear with you but it's also really going to understand how they feel and then also then communicate it with you as well okay they may be keeping a lot of this inside their heart and their mind right now but it's not going to be for forever because they will express things to you they will come forward to you and they will physically tell you if that makes any sense I hope that makes sense um but that's really what I'm seeing is that they will tell you they will express and you will know and you'll be like oh wow you know <laughs> that's what I'm seeing so 
The answer to your question is yes, they will offer commitment, but also I hope you feel that, and I hope you can see also with a longer reading like we've done today, just how much additional information does come through the more we analyse the cards, right? So um, that's, that's, you know, that's really what's coming through. Oftentimes with the zodiac sign readings that I do, which are usually about 10 to 11 minutes long, they you know, they really hit the points very, very quickly. And I feel like, um, you know, those readings are, are great, especially if, you know, you really just want something really fast and you want to just know what's, you know, sort of happening and going on. Um, and then these ones, these uh, pick a card readings go much more in depth with each, you know, each card. But, um, you know, it, it brings out a little bit more sort of information. So I think, you know, both ways, um, it's something a little bit different. Uh, so yeah, if you haven't, if you're new to my channel and you haven't checked out, you know, my regular videos that I do on my channel as well, which are the Zodiac sign ones, do have a little look on there. Um, I think they're nice because they're sort of, you know, quick, snappy, um, you know, short videos that sort of just give, um, you know, the, the gist of things, gist of things, gist of things. I think that's, yeah, that's what I meant. Um, but these ones really go very, very in depth with the cards. And even though the question here is, will they offer commitment? We brought, we bring out so many other um, elements into this reading, which gives more information, which actually can answer other questions that maybe you have, you know, in regards to the situation. So I think that that's nice because it also sort of offers insight into other areas of the connection as well. Like, for, for example, this one also shows that there's more growth. It shows that this person's analysing a lot of these signs and synchronicities they're getting, they need to become a bit more ready, they're trying to balance themselves, um, they're with you not just because of your physical, well, they, they won't just offer you commitment, should I say, because of your physical looks, but actually because they really like the bond that they, they feel here as well, and that's something they're feeling much more and more as time goes by, and um, you know, they may not be 100% ready to express, everything emotionally, but they will, right, with the Knight of Swords, and that's really what it's showcasing, is that there is more to come in the situation, and there is going to be a lot more progression and growth, which I think is very positive. So, group number one, this is your reading, and if this reading resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and definitely do check out the description box below for all the information on private paid readings, free reading giveaway, my bracelets which are on Etsy as well, and um, also Patreon, all that good stuff, and I hope you have a lovely day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this, do take care. And now I'm going to move on to group number two. So I'm going to take away these cards very gently. Just put them over here. All right, so group number two this is your reading for will they offer commitment which is very interesting we're going to get a lot of information out i am for sure absolutely curious to see what messages we have on the cards here for you today and let's have a look so this deck is called trip and wait and we are going to get started okay so i'm just going to actually turn it round like so and let's do the 12 card spread reading, which is going to go very in depth. So hold those horses <laughs> as we continue. And if you need to pause this video and get, you know, maybe uh, something to drink or a snack, feel free to do so as well. Let's start with um, this to begin with. So there are some cards I can already see. So let's take those cards first. So we've got here the King of Cups, the Guru. And the Guru in this particular deck is the only card which is different to traditional tarot. We've got the Three of Wands, Magician. Emperor, Ace of Pentacles, oh my gosh, wow, look at that, 
So if there's one thing we need to know here is that this reading and this entire video in general, which is split up of two readings, right, is really special because of the Ace of Pentacles. Very, very special because of the Ace of Pentacles. I'm not going to tell you what happened in group number one's reading, okay? Um, but, you know, the Ace of Pentacles, very special. <laughs> wow. The fact that the Ace of Pentacles actually came out in, in this video, I mean, this whole reading in general, um, is really, really special as well. Okay, so we've got the Wheel of Fortune, which is ruled by Jupiter. It's all about abundance. We've got here... The Knight of Cups. Page of Wands. Now, I don't want to spoil the group number one reading for you, but it sort of split, um, slipped from my tongue anyways. Basically, the Ace of Pentacles came out in both readings, which is really spectacular and very, very special. But hey, you're here for this group number two reading. So take on board the messages from this reading. If you want to see that, you know, other reading as well, feel free uh, by all means. But, you know, I just, I just feel there's a very special energy, especially when, you know, both the cards that we have seen, you know, in the thumbnail of this video, we've seen at the very beginning where you were choosing, you know, which group you are most drawn to, both of those sort of opening cards have come out in the readings. I just think that's a huge sign, absolutely huge sign. And to cut the story short, I do see that this person here is going to offer commitment to you, but I have so much more information I want to get out to you as well. So definitely, um, you know, keep watching this video and I will, you know, give you those messages, especially with the rest of the cards, because there's a lot of very juicy information, I have to say, that I do have to give. But I just think, you know, seeing that Ace of Pentacles, you can see here that this person does feel like time is running out, that they need to do something before time runs out completely because you actually see this ace of pentacles melting in the hand, right? And this really shows here that this person feels like time is running out and that they do need to make quicker moves because the three of wands there is about time and it is about waiting and it is about them, I feel, making you somehow wait for commitment or you feeling that you have to wait and that you have no other choice. <laughs> that's what I'm seeing also magician right magician shows that there's more here than perhaps you can see if that makes any sense so there's more in the connection than you can see right now and the magician is also about making things happen so you see on the magician's table and the table has of course four legs I feel like that's such a self-explanatory thing but I have to tell it to you in that way for the next bit to make sense force and tarot are about foundations on the magician's foundation table we have all four suits right all of those suits have different characteristics and the magician uses that to make things happen you know to to make their tricks come to life um so that's really what we're seeing here and, and the magician's ruled by mercury so what i do feel is that this person with time they will use a lot of these things to make things much more solid uh, much more stronger in how they see things. They just need some time to get themselves together. And for some of them, it could be that factor of being ready, getting ready for commitment, which can sometimes be difficult for certain people. I'm not going to lie about that. It can be difficult. It can be challenging. So this person wants to get ready. Wants to feel ready. I'm just going to grab my water because my throat is going <coughs> to, my throat is just a little bit tickly all of a sudden. So that's what we're seeing with the magician, all right? This is about more progression, more growth happening in the situation. Commitment will come, but they also need to stabilise themselves. They need to find that foundation and, you know, really make things sort of happen. And that's them putting in that effort, making things happen. This person's not going to stay stagnant and stationary. They're going to work on things. They're going to make things happen. They want things to grow. And so that is them taking the initiative with that magician energy. Now, for some of you, you may actually feel that this person might be showing one thing, doing another. Right? You may feel that. 
But again, that is because this person is not 100% ready, right? And so they can sort of show that they may give commitment and then they'll sort of maybe backtrack. Again, magician is also about illusions. And during this time, they can go back and forth, this sort of energy. So that's really what we're seeing there. This Three of Wands is very important because it does show there is, there is some time that will be taken in the situation. It may feel like, why are things taking time? Why is it going so slowly? What is the purpose of this? Why must it be like this? What does it mean for me? Why? You know, you may be thinking that. And then the Guru is showing that they will get themselves to such a strong place where they feel confident about every decision they make. Not just a decision, ugh, I can't even speak, wow, what was that? Not just decisions based on commitment, but decisions based on their long-term future, decisions based on how they handle their finances, decisions based on, you know, simple things that really matter in life they will become so strong to that level. They're trying to get as balanced as possible. They're trying to figure themselves out. They're trying to really grow, you know, to that level. And that's what I'm seeing is that they will, they will get to that point. They will get to that level. Um, it can be challenging. I'm not gonna lie, it can be challenging. It can be frustrating. It can be just it, a lot, you know, it really can be. But what I am seeing is that they will get to that point. They will get to that point and you know, that's also about them being much more spiritual as well. So I feel like if this person that you're dealing with right now is not very spiritual, they're going to become quite spiritual. And that doesn't mean, okay, that does not mean that they may walk around with um, prayer beads and things like that. I mean, not to say that there's anything wrong with prayer beads. I personally do prayer beads. So, you know, what I'm just saying is that, you know, sometimes um, we see, you know, very very spiritual people <laughs> I feel like you know this person was spiritual to the point where you know they may meditate and sort of um, adapt different forms of mindfulness into their life and their routine um, but not you know maybe to an an, uh, an in-depth amount if that makes any sense so that's just what I'm seeing it's, it's not going to be spiritual to the point where you know this person is just you know you know, absolutely 100%, you know, or just on the spiritual realm of things. Um, they'll be spiritual, but very conscious and very mindful. That's really what I'm seeing. And they're, they're really going to adapt to that. And I think that that's also going to make them feel really strong and very balanced. Um, you know, making decisions, being confident, and, you know, feeling strong within themselves. That's what I'm seeing. So that's the guru there, bringing us great things in regards to this reading. Really, really wonderful, I have to say. And again, it just shows you how much um, commitment, you know, that they're willing to offer, which, I mean, is a, is a huge amount, really. You know, really, really big amounts. The, I mean, the guru is incredible, you know. Um, this is also this sort of uh, parental figure as well. So again, becoming really mature and again that leads us to the king of cups king of cups is extremely mature can get through any form of obstacles challenges can really um get through the absolute everything you know it's, it's just so unfazed because they have that confidence within them so I do feel that this person here is, is taking time, can make you feel like things are taking time because they want to feel really strong and confident in them in themselves. They want to feel 100% stable, secure, you know, and until there are four ones there, they're not going to feel perfectly balanced, right? So they want their table to be strong. They want a strong structure. And that structure starts from especially when there's a, a relationship and a connection building, that structure of strength starts from each individual person, right? So that's why they say the stronger you and better you feel within yourself, you know, the better it is for relationships because you understand yourself, 
Um, and you know that's that's much better because what can happen is if you don't understand yourself too much and you do get into a, a you know connection or relationship, the other person can end up changing you, and you know that's not necessarily a bad thing because it could change you you know for the better. But also the opposite can happen as well. So again, you know, this person wants to make sure they understand themselves so that they don't feel like they're making the wrong decision or they're walking down the wrong path in any way, shape or form. They want to feel good. They want to feel... They want to feel great is what I'm saying. You know, they, they really do want to feel um, confident and great. <laughs> they want to feel confident and they want to feel great. But... No, I really just feel that this person here wants to feel good within themselves first and then be able to offer you something so that not only do they understand themselves, but they will understand the situation with you much more. So we see that with the Knight of Cups coming forward, um, expressing feelings, you know, and feeling like this, but then coming towards you, you know, in a fun, nice way with the cup full and emotions in the cup and you know, just this really beautiful energy of um, excitement and joy and happiness and progression, especially with the Wheel of Fortune, you know, it's this really beautiful energy of Jupiter, it's this absolutely beautiful energy of, you know, with, when the wheel turns, progression comes, it's abundance, which also shows that this person's going to offer you commitment when they're truly ready, and also, right, the wheel turns, abundance comes your way, but it's also about knowing that at the end of that wheel, there is something quite solid there. Um, it's a little bit like, right, and this is what I'm getting in my mind, it's a little bit like when you go to school, you know at some point at the end of it, you're going to get um, a high school diploma or some kind of award for completing your studies. For example, when I went to university, right? you get a degree at the end of it. If you work hard, you know, you are going to get that um, reward at the end of it. And that reward can, of course, help with career progression and experience. And it can also, you know, of course, give you the degree. So it's, it's almost like, you know, there is something really at the end of it that can be guaranteed. So there's that, of course, you know, you have to work hard and everything. But obviously, you know, if you go and you do that, then I mean, you pretty much want to work hard, right? Not everybody does, I know that for sure. Most people would want to work hard, <laughs> right? To make sure that they get what they, you know, want out of the end, at the end of it, if that makes sense. Hope that, I hope that made sense. But that's what I'm seeing. It's almost like that in the connection, you know, so long as this person puts in the work, which I'm seeing they will, you know, you will get that success at the end of it. You will get something strong from this person at the end of it, which is that level of commitment. Of course, with that Jupiter energy, I was just drinking some water as well. My throat is just not, it's not doing well. So um, the Ace of Pentacles there uh, really shows that they know that time is running out, all right? Um, so they will try and come to you as, as best quick as they can, but they don't want to rush things. They also know at the same time that they do risk losing you. So that is something important that they do consider. And the Ace of Pentacles here really showcases that as well. But they're, they're just absolutely trying their best in the situation that is there I would recommend you to focus on yourself and your own energies and your goals to make sure that you do feel good within yourself and you're not draining yourself of vital energy and things like that because I want you to feel strong and confident within yourself I don't want you to feel like oh everything sucks you know I don't want you to feel like that I do want you to feel good within yourself and your own energy uh, that's obviously just really really important though that's the thing right <laughs> really really important for you to feel uh, good and strong within yourself. So that's really what we are seeing there. Now, what else have we got? We have the Emperor. So Emperor is beautiful, right? Emperor here is ruled by Aries. And this is really about, again, this person offering you something, but more so showing it as well. So I do feel that especially with the magician, right, this person has sort of done these things where they can show you that, you know, maybe commitment will be on the cards, and then they might sort of backtrack. And that's because, you know, the emperor is not necessarily the most emotion 
driven person, if that makes sense. Um, the emperor is more so driven by actions than emotions. Uh, so that's really what it's showcasing. Yes, I do believe that this person will become much more um, emotionally aware about things. So that is coming through. Do not panic. Do not worry about that. That is something we are seeing. So that's good. But at the exact same time, I do feel very, very strongly that this person is going to get the rack together and they are going to really come towards you with a solid vision of wanting to make things work with you. 10 out of 10. And as we see with the Wheel of Fortune as well, right? Um, it's 10, so 10 out of 10. I see them coming to you. I see them offering commitment. They may not be necessarily the most emotion emotional person right now or emotionally stable person right now but they will grow to that and I am a big um, believer that people can grow people can feel stronger people can people can change but obviously you know you also have to factor in what works for you that's also very very important so if you feel like right now you just can't wait anymore then you know the best thing is to take a bit of space from the situation doesn't mean you have to like completely cut things off with this person but it is really about making sure that, you know, you're protecting your energy and perhaps you do need a bit of time away from this person to think about things so that you're not sort of resenting the person based on the fact that you're ready and they're not. Um, that's also very important. That's something that the guides are pointing out as well to me to make sure that I can also give that message to you as well. Um, because, you know, the thing is, people can be on different pages and that's what I'm seeing is that this person does have a lot of care towards you but how they come across can seem at times, especially with a magician, a little bit careless, which of course is not fun, it's not great, but that's what the emperor here is showing is that, you know, they want to move things forward with you, but again, they're not to the level of the King of Cups yet. They have still to get to that level. And why do I say they still have to get to that level? Because we've also got the Knight of Cups as well. Knight of Cups with the King of Cups shows that growth, that progression, um, that level of movement as well so that's what we're really seeing there um quite important to say the least so that's what we have there that's what we've got we've got the page of wands as well shows that you know there will be more in this situation there will be more um interactions there'll be much more of them communicating all of this to you as well so I do see that that's quite positive it may seem like it's not very positive right now but I promise things will get better um, <laughs> that's not me trying to like sarcastically say things but I, I genuinely do feel that things will get better it doesn't feel great right now I'm sure you already know that but I do feel like things will get better and things will you know, things will get to the level that you want them to get to eventually they will it really is about time and the thing is I don't recommend you to wait I think it's better for you for your energy to continue doing what you're doing to keep you know give this person as much as they give you but make sure you are taking care of yourself first and foremost that's the most important thing let's get these other three cards out as well Ooh, queen of pentacles right the deck on the side so we've got the queen of pentacles okay so that shows you receiving commitment now whether you're male or female remember i read energies in tarot not specifically genders so we have the sun as well Ooh, look at that strength card right this is me <laughs> over and over telling you focus on yourself your own energies it's gonna be okay you know but make sure you're not draining yourself of vital energy because you're ready and this person's trying to get ready and it can take them some time but they still have feelings for you you know that's what the strength card is embodying here because strength is ruled by Leo and it is this sense of you know them wanting to take things further with you them wanting to think um they're wanting to for this connection to get stronger right with the strength card but it also is about them quite physically at this very point trying to get stronger themselves. So they want the connection to get stronger, but first they need to get stronger, which will also help them to tame their fears and any worries that they have in the connection. So 
by really putting this energy onto themselves, they're taming their fears and their worries, which again is why I think it's so important for you to put this energy into yourself so that you can tame any of these fears and worries that you have in the connection as to whether you can trust this person or not, you know, why they're taking so much time. Sometimes the things that we worry about or the things that we blame a lot of people about can be projections that we have in regards to ourselves, not always, not always, but sometimes they can be. So um, it is important for us to sometimes take a step back from a situation to just give ourselves that energy and for us to sort of regain that balance. Otherwise, what happens is if we start waiting for things to constantly happen, then it can drain us and it can make us feel not so great. And we want to feel good. We want to feel good. We don't want to feel not so great. We want to feel good. We want to feel balanced. We want things our way but you know sometimes we have to find that perfect sort of compromise and in between and that's exactly what connections are about they are about compromise eventually I see you getting the abundant joy that you deserve right so this is about the person coming towards you not holding back can I just mention with that child on the horse this is about them coming towards you this is about them you know really feeling good and progressing things with you. What more can I say, right? So we see that progression here. Um, it's really abundant, it's beautiful, it's about growth in this connection, it's about things moving forward, and actually about you feeling really, really strong and very, very secure, and actually feeling like, wow, maybe I did have nothing to worry about, maybe I should have just, you know, enjoyed my singleness <laughs> a bit more, because now that I'm with this person, now that I have the commitment with this person, you know, I'm not as free as I used to be. That's sort of an energy that's coming through. So enjoy the time that you have right now with yourself. That's what I would say, because then you're going to be spending a lot of your time with this person. So that's what the Queen of Pentacles is showing. Right, so this is, of course, the Queen. And um, there you go, there's the commitment in the Queen's hands. Now again, as I mentioned, regardless of whether you are male or female, remember I read energies and tarot, not specifically agenda. So just keep that in mind. But regardless of that, I do see commitment here. You've got these little bunny rabbits as well. Um, there's this uh, very strong sense of attraction. There's a sense of freedom. We've got a lot of animals, and the thing is, animals mean very, very different things. Very, very different things. We've got a horse, we got a lion, we have some bunny rabbits, we've got another horse, um, we've got the sphinx as well, which is very interesting. We've got a snake. We have got, technically, right, Aries it has that ram, it has the energy of the ram, and we've got that there as well. Is it the ram? It's a ram, isn't it? Trust me, I mean, I know I'm a tarot reader, and, you know, I know that, but that's what I, I refer to it as it, I refer to it as. Um, I think it has another name as well, so, you know, that's why I'm asking that question. <laughs> we've got um, the beautiful birds, reminds me of do um, a dove, essentially, or doves, should I say? Dolphins... I feel like we're at the zoo here, like, oh, look at those dolphins there. Oh, look at that horse over there. <laughs> it's it's this energy that is really beautifully blessed. I mean, the, the spread is beautifully blessed with so many different energies of different animals and um, different uh, spiritual elements as well, um, especially with, you know, the sphinx as well. I think that's really, really beautiful for sure, and it's definitely... Um, showcasing with the amount of flowers we also have um in the spread as well you know we've got some um sort of mushrooms and other flowers here we've got a bird here as well we've got sunflowers we've got some roses and another type of flower there as well um it's showing a lot of growth it's showing again a lot of movement because that's what animals also signify is movement freedom um excitement joy uh taming you know fears progressing forward that's what it's showcasing but it's really beautiful because it's showing us so many different elements and I think that that is beautiful. Wow. Okay, so overall this person is going to offer you commitment, but I do feel that this person is trying to get as balanced as possible. They're trying to create um, a stable foundation where they feel so much better emotionally, physically, mentally as well, especially 
here they're going to become much more emotionally open I do feel that this person is going to become quite spiritual as well um, and that's really going to again lead them to you where they want to understand themselves more in the situation especially with a strength card you know once they tame their own fears then they can come forward um, and feel better about everything so that's what I'm seeing here now if this reading resonates with you let me know in the comment section below uh, don't get to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already do check out the description box below for information on private paid readings free reading giveaway and my bracelets which are on Etsy as well um, also patreon you know all that good stuff it's all in the description box below and um, I do also want to mention as well don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So basically, um, next to the subscribe button, there is a bell notification. Please click on that bell so that my videos go into your subscription box. Um, so, you know, sometimes even if you are subscribed to my channel, you might not get my videos into your subscription box. So just make sure you click on the little bell if you are also subscribed at the same, you know, at the same time. And I hope you have a lovely day or night, wherever you are, whenever you're watching this. And definitely do take care.